In today's video, I'll be sharing with you everything that I have picked up from the Sephora Savings event going on right now. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hi, my name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So every time the Sephora Savings event comes around, I am super excited to shop it. I get my cart together and I love sharing everything I picked up with you. And it honestly reminds me of like old school Aisha back from my simple beauty blog days where mainly I talked about beauty products. Now I kind of talk more about fragrance and infused beauty products in it in there as well but there was a time where i didn't focus so much on fragrance and mainly focused on beauty although i've always been a fragrance lover anyway these savings events just always remind me of old times where i bought way too much makeup <laughs> and now i buy way too much fragrance anyway <laughs> i got my haul i ordered my stuff online i did go in store and pick up just a couple of items like they're very small items and then I do have something that I ordered from a website that was not Sephora, but the items are available on Sephora. So I'm gonna show them to you in this video as well. So we're gonna start with my big box. I actually have not opened anything in here yet. I just opened the box so that I didn't have to do that on camera. So these will be in no particular order. I'm literally just gonna pull out of my box and we're gonna open the stuff together. All right, so first up is this Rio Radiance SPF 50 body oil from Sol de Janeiro. So I love Sol de Janeiro and the Rio, the Rio Radiance scent, I don't have that body spray or anything, but I know it's like a light coconutty smelling uh, body mist. And so when I saw that they came out with some body sunscreens in that same scent, I was excited because I feel like this is something that's gonna be perfect for vacation. So it's a body oil and it's a sunscreen so this is what spf 50 which i feel like is pretty good let's smell it okay it smells good it's a nice lightweight smell so it's not too heavy but it's definitely giving like that airy coconutty vibe that i think is going to pair really well with any type of like tropical fragrance and you really can't see it there i mean i really only spray it a little tap so it's not as shiny as i thought it would be but i do like the fact that it's not glittery so we'll see how it actually does when i apply this all over my body but i didn't really want to put that much on because obviously i got stuff to do today i'm not trying to be walking around with all this oily sunscreen on me and it's not there's no sun out right now anyway it's dark and gloomy and rainy today so yeah i can't wait to actually try this and i'm thinking this is going to be great for vacation so again that is the sol de janeiro rio radiance spf 50 body oil the next item i picked up is from the brand salt and stone and this is the santal and vetiver body mist so that's what the box looks like and again this is the body mist i've been interested in this brand since i heard karina waldron talk about them um, probably like six months ago and so when the sale came around I knew I wanted to try them so let me actually find the other products because I actually picked up some other products from this brand as well okay so here it this one is the body mist which I have heard I think I heard AI the great say that these body mists were pretty good and they're almost like fragrance like perfume status so let's smell this one I figured Santal and Vetiver would be a good one for me because I really wanted to try the body wash in this scent, which I do have, but I feel like these kind of scents are very spa-like. Yes, definitely very spa-like. Um, so I'm definitely getting the sandalwood, but, and it gives me that kind of woody pencil shaving aspect, but it's not too strong. It's very like soft. Not saying this is a soft scent because it actually does smell like perfume as opposed to a body mist. Um, but the sandalwood is very softened, um, very airy. The vetiver in here, I feel like it's just breaking up, giving it a little bit of a greenness. But yeah, this is a great spa type vibe. I really like this. <laughs> I'm so excited to actually wear this. I don't know if, I'll have to see how this performs. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it as an actual like perfume fragrance or if it's gonna be one of those things that when I'm having like, you know, my everything shower or I'm really taking my shower, my time in the shower or taking an actual bath, if it's just gonna be one of those things that I spray on after that, but not really to like go out into the world 
just for the vibes. So we shall see. Um, but this one is Santal and Vetiver. And then I also picked up the body wash in that same scent. And I think initially when Karina Waldron talked about this, I think she talked about it on Instagram or something, but I was initially drawn to it because of the uh, design and the, the way the bottles look. They look very luxurious, very minimal, but also very luxurious in that very clean, modern type way. It reminds me of Byredo, honestly, their packaging. But I'm very excited to try this. This is the Santal and Vetiver, so these two will go together. And the other thing that I picked up from Salt and Stone is the Black Rose and Oud body wash. So I did not pick up the body spray on this. I thought about it, but I decided against it um, because I feel like for me, Rose and Oud, I just didn't feel like I needed any body spray in that particular scent because I have I already have the um, Oud Satin Mood Body Oil from Maison Francis Curtjean, and then I have some Rose and Oud fragrances. So I just didn't feel like I needed the body mist, but we'll see how this performs. I may try to use this tonight and you know see what I think about it because if I love the scent like a ton, who knows? Your girl may go back and get the <laughs> and get the body spray as well. Let me see if I can open it. Ooh, that smells really good. Definitely getting the oud and definitely getting the rose. And I feel like I'm kind of liking body washes that are this darker, deeper, like more unisex scent because typically I go for either vanilla body washes or very fruity things. That's typically what I use in the shower. So when I switch it up and use something like this, it's a whole vibe. I'm here for it. Mm, this smells really good. I cannot wait to use this. I think I might use this tonight, y'all. I'm so excited. Why am I so excited about body wash? But I am. <laughs> All right, next up is this Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. So that's what the packaging looks like. Let me get it opened up for y'all. So the reason I decided to try this is, I remember when it came out, I thought it was a very interesting product. Um, I decided to pick mine up in the Universal, like the translucent shade, but they do have like some tinted shades of this. But I didn't really know, like I had both in my cart. I had the tinted and... I had the tinted and the translucent, but I didn't really know how this was gonna work for me. But I decided to go ahead and try this because I love the blushes from this formulation. And they give, the blushes are like a cream blush, but then when you put them on, they become matte in texture. And so I'm thinking that this blurring balm will be, let me show y'all the packaging while I'm doing all this talking. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. This out here, this part here is this little, um i guess applicator that you can use and then this is what the balm looks like so you can use this as like a primer you can use it on top of your makeup to like set it without using a powder um i don't know <laughs> this is one of those kind of confusing type products but it's always intrigued me and because i had already tried the blushes from this range i went ahead and decided to try this like i was more open to trying this since i've tried the blushes yeah when i rub it it feels kind of oily to the touch but then when i rub it in it's drying down to a matte finish you're not going to be able to see anything because this is a universal shade and it's actually truly universal like it is absolutely clear on my skin let me see if it made a difference. Okay, it definitely mattified my hand. You probably can't tell too much, but this is the hand I put it on and this is the hand I did not. And it definitely mattified my hand a little bit in the spot where I put it. So we shall see how this works on top of makeup for me during the summer. My skin is normal, but in the summer it gets more on the oily side because it's so hot that, you know, it's, you know, sweat and oil mix, so. <laughs> So usually in the summer, I go for more oily skin type products, but we shall see how this works out. I'm very excited to have it. And I'll have to report back to y'all at some point. So again, that is the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder in the shade Universal from Danessa Myricks. Next up is a lip gloss, and this is from Tower 28, and this is in the shade XOXO. So I love the Tower 28 lip glosses, um, the lip jellies, because they have different kinds of glosses now. So let's say this is the lip jelly. Um, I love these lip glosses, the lip jellies. <laughs> I'm actually wearing one now in pistachio. And side note, because this video features makeup, I will have all of the makeup products I use in the description box. 
you have to scroll down under products mentioned to where it says what I'm wearing. And in that section, I'll have all the makeup products I use on my face. Usually I put some down there, just like the standout ones, but because this is kind of a makeup-ish video, I'll put everything I'm wearing on my face down there. So anyway, this one is XOXO, which is a pink. So let's see, oh wow. This one is definitely more translucent than I thought. And it is this, I don't know if it's coming off on camera, the way it looks in person, but in person, it almost looks iridescent, but not sparkly or anything, a very interesting shade. So let's go ahead and swatch it. It definitely seems more jelly-like than some of the other shades. The other shades seem more creamy. So that's what it looks like. It's a pink. Um, it's not doing too much, but I think this is gonna work out well for me. Cause I find that with glosses, um, I don't really like glosses that are super opaque when it comes to bright colors. So I am not the type of person to wear like a glossy red lip or anything like that. So when it comes to bright colors, I prefer them to be sheer. And so I feel like this is going to work out really well for me. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's giving kind of a raspberry finish. So we shall see how that works on my skin tone. But so far, I'm excited to wear it. Next up is a product from Iconic London, and this is their Instant Sunshine Bronzing Drops. So when I was on Sephora, just looking at the new stuff, the promo picture for this just really caught my eye, and so I decided to try it. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it is a, I guess like a liquid bronzer illuminator um, that you can use all over the body. and. It, I thought it was interesting because it has this kind of applicator. So it reminds me of a syringe. <laughs> so I think I just pump it like I would like a syringe. Oh, I don't know. How do I use this? Okay, so there's a lock and unlock function at the bottom. So you could twist it to lock it and then twist it to unlock it. And then you could pump it out like a syringe. I'm only gonna put a tiny bit. That's what it looks like before I blend it out. Ooh, that's pretty. It feels good too. It feels pretty lightweight. Does it feel sticky or gunky or anything? So again, you're probably not gonna be able to tell, but this is where it is on my hand compared to the other hand that has nothing on it. You can see there's a bit of a shine. So I am thinking that I will use this on my face, but also probably like on my like collarbone, clavicle area. I probably won't use this one all over my body because honestly, it's not that big of a package and I do have other body illuminizers that I can use um, that I already had. But for my face, I think I will try this out. So we shall see. I mean, I don't know that I needed any more of these type products, but I really wanted this one. So you girl got it. <laughs> so again, that's the Iconic London Instant Sunshine Bronzing Drops. Next up is a fragrance and this one is from Kayali. This is Eden Sparkling Lychee. So this fragrance came out, I feel like it came out in the fall or the winter, and I was intrigued when I saw all the promo images for it. But then, you know, once the reviews started coming out, I, for, so preface this by saying, I am one of those people who would usually, well, who used to run and buy Kayali as soon as it dropped. But I decided that I'm no longer doing that. I'll just wait for the reviews because they send out a ton of PR. They don't send it in me. Maybe I'm a little salty about that. But also I've just had some experiences where I don't feel like I just necessarily need to buy every fragrance they drop and they've dropped so many of them. But when these reviews started coming out, I knew it was more of a spring summer scent. Eventually I went to the store and got my nose on it and really liked it. And so I figured I would wait until the spring summer to buy it. And so here we are, spring sale. Decided to just pick up the small bottle because I don't know, I just wasn't really completely sure if I wanted a big bottle. So I decided I'd pick up the small bottle and if I go through it, which I probably won't, <laughs> but if I do, then I will upgrade to the larger bottle. I do love the way the larger bottle looks though. So let me show you what it looks like. It's been a while since I smell this, but I got this one in the bottle that looks like the larger bottle, which I much prefer these types of 10 mils from Kayali as opposed to just the regular travel spray. Um, but let's spray it again. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. So to me, when I smell this, it's giving an effervescence. I believe there's like a champagne note or something in here, but it's definitely giving an effervescence. It's giving fruitiness. I can definitely pick on that sweet, like tartness of the lychee or the lychee fruit. 
and it definitely smells like there's some other fruits in here as well like maybe black currant or something like that um, but overall it's a juicy fruity scent with this sparkling nature to it so decided to pick this up and see how it goes for me i think this is going to work really well on vacation i'm really excited to wear it it is one of those fragrances that i feel can go for any age range uh, it's just one of those fun and playful things. So even though like I'm I am 40 years old I could also see myself buying this as a gift for somebody who's like 17, you know, so <laughs> I Think it's just a fun playful type scent. So again, that is Kayali Eden sparkling lychee Next up is another product from tower 28 and this is their lip softy tinted lip treatments So I think these are new I picked mine up in the shade watermelon kiwi But I think these are more so they're lip, lip treatment so actual lip balms as opposed to these are lip glosses so this is an actual lip balm that's supposed to treat the lips and then it has some color to it all right that was a weird place for a swatch but that's what it looks like there before i rub it out yeah it's a nice milky pinkish shade it feels very good when i'm rubbing it in on my hand obviously it's not on my lips but it does feel very moisturizing so i'm excited to try this it doesn't on my hands it doesn't feel that sticky so we'll see if this will compete with the summer fridays tinted lip balms that i absolutely love those are my favorite ones so we'll see if this will compete but so far so good this will probably be going in my purse today so again, this is the Tower 28 Lip Softy in the shade Watermelon Kiwi. Next up is from Josie Moran, and this is their Butter Baby. So Josie Moran has been doing these body butters for years. I feel like ever since I started watching YouTube, like 15 years ago or something, I've heard about the Josie Moran body butters, and I've tried them a lot over the years. I've just gone back and forth on using them. They're very thick and moisturizing. But recently they had like, I don't know if it's a just like a rebranding or they reformulated their body butters but i don't know i'm not for sure on that but they do have some new scents out and they release them in these small little packages so this it comes in this kind of little travel case and these are supposed to be travel sizes so they look like this they remind me of the gogo -Go squeeze i don't know if you got if you guys have kids i'm sure you've seen like gogo -Go squeeze go go squeeze applesauce and yogurt <laughs> it comes in these little packs and that's what it reminds me of it's so cute but i love it i love the packaging on these so this one is vanilla vibes this one is topless tangerine and this one is bohemian fig and then also inside there's a little sample size of the topless tangerine body scrub but this packaging actually feels really good. I definitely would travel with this. But anyway, I'm not going to try all these on my skin because I know it's a good formula. It's a thick moisturizing formula. I guess I will smell them for you just to, you know, add something. But all right, so this first one is Bohemian Fig. And I have to say, I'm not really, I had to put some on my hand because I felt like I really wasn't smelling it. But I'm not really getting the fig note out of this. I'm getting more like grassiness oh okay so it says bohemian fig on here but then it also says vetiver and velvet and vanilla orchid underneath that so i feel like i'm getting more of the vetiver when i smell it now obviously i haven't worn this all over my body but so far i'm not getting much fig but that's okay because i'm not a huge fan of fig anyway next up is topless tangerine okay this one i can smell a lot easier and it's a bright tangerine scent simple but beautiful and then the last one is Vanilla Vibes. And I think this is the one I've heard the most about. But I feel like that's because everybody loves vanilla. Oh yeah, that smells really good. It's soft though. It's not too heavy. So I feel, feel like this will go well with a lot of different fragrances. But it's definitely more of a gourmand vanilla. And it has this warm kind of toastiness to it. But it's not doing the most. So you could really wear this with any fragrance. And it probably wouldn't interfere. So we shall see how those work out for me. If I probably try, I'll probably try one full body maybe tonight or something, or at least over the next couple of days before the sale ends, because they do have a full size version of this that is actually refillable. So it comes with a jar and then you can buy the refills um, to fill over time. So I probably will try these out and see if I fall in love. And if so, then I'll go ahead and get like a full size one before the sale is over. So again, that's the Josie Moran Butter Babies. 
Next up is a product from Huda Beauty, and this is the Faux Filler Extra Shine Lip Gloss. So when they released the photos for this lip gloss, I was very excited. I mean, I don't need any more glosses, honestly. But I'm a sucker for a gloss. And let me see, I think I bought, I bought two of these, so we'll just talk about these. These, I think, are the first like release of products since Huda stepped back into her position as CEO of Huda Beauty. So I think for a while she had stepped down and let somebody else take the reins. Like, she was still the owner, but she wasn't running everything everything but now she's back running everything and I feel like this was the first release since she took back over and I was back excited because I really like Huda and I used to watch her videos back in the day <laughs> when she was on YouTube she may still have a YouTube channel but you know it's different once you're a business owner as opposed to just a YouTuber okay so like I said I picked up two shades this first one is called honey and this one is called Coco. So I'll swatch both of them for you. So there they are swatched. This one is Honey, which is like the typical shade I go for. <laughs> I feel like every time I try a new gloss, I always get something nudish to kinda start out with. So that's Honey, and then that's Coco, which is a dark brown, which is different for a gloss for me. I usually don't go for a gloss this dark, but I think that when this shears out, it's gonna wear really well on my lips. And hopefully it'll still look appropriate for summertime. I don't usually wear dark colors in the summer, but I figured since this was, this was a gloss, it would be still good for summer. So I'm really excited to try these. I love a good gloss, y'all. So again, that was the shade Honey, which is the lighter shade, and then the shade Cocoa, which is the darker shade. Next up is a hair oil, and this is from the brand Bread, and this is actually just a re-up for me. I already have this oil. I have it in a different packaging, but this packaging, I decided to get this size because this packaging actually comes with a dropper, and right now I have the kind that I actually pour out on my hands, so that's why I decided to get this size, but I do love this uh, gloss or... <laughs> I do love this oil for like an everyday oil. So a lot of times I'll just put a little bit of this on my hands and use it to like take out a twist out or to like refresh the wash and go. It's not a very heavy gloss, but I do find that it adds some shine and my hair can easily get weighed down. So I don't usually like to use heavy oils on my hair. Um, not when I'm wearing it out anyway. So yeah, decided to buy some more of that because I needed it. I guess I should have did this one earlier, but this is another one of the Lip Softy Lip Treatments from Tower 28. This one is in the show, shade Dulce de Leche, which is like this nudish brown color. Yep, perfect, perfect color, love it. Oh, these smell really good. Oh, maybe they all smell different. Yeah, this one smells like Dulce de Leche, or I think that's how you pronounce it. Dulce, Dulce de Leche. I'm sure y'all correct me. <laughs> but it smells really good, so I'm excited to wear that. Next up, I pick up this lip mask from Sephora. This is the Moisturizing and Smoothing Lip Mask, and it has cherry extract. I've never tried one of these before. Um, so I decided to just try it, see if I like it. These are very inexpensive, and right now all the Sephora brand products are 30% off, even if you're not a Rouge. If you're any beauty insider, these are 30% off. And all, if you're not a beauty insider, all you have to do is sign up for one. So I'll leave a link down below where you can sign up to become a beauty insider. And as soon as you sign up, you get access to 10% off everything on their website and 30% off all the Sephora collection products up until April 15th when the sale is over. Next product I picked up is from Gucci and this has been on my wish list for years, but this is their bronzer, this the Clot Soleil bronzer in the shade number four. This packaging, y'all, oh, look at it. It comes with this little dust bag, and then beauty. This is such a flex. <laughs> this is the kind of product that like you have it on your vanity, and it just makes you feel luxurious to use it. And honestly, that was the selling point for me, um, like probably years ago when I first saw it. So this is the shade. And I finally decided to pick this up because literally every time the Sephora sale comes around, I put this in my cart and then I never end up checking it out. And I was like, you know what? This time I'm gonna do it. So yeah, this is the shade. I don't even wanna swatch it because I don't wanna mess up the beautiful pattern. But it also comes with this brush here, which I don't know if I'll use, but that would be nice like if I took it to travel and I just had to use that brush. But very, very expensive looking packaging. I guess I'll swatch it. 
So that's what it looks like on my finger, which I feel like is going to be a better depiction because whenever I swatch bronzers, they really don't show up much on the hand. So you kind of have to put them on your face to really get the full effect. But this does feel very soft and very luxurious. So I'm very excited to try this, y'all. I'm happy I finally decided to pull the trigger on this one. Next up is from NARS. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm not gonna swatch this. I'll open it up just to show y'all the color, but this is a re-up for me. I use this, I've been using this product for since it came out, it's probably been at least like five or seven years I'm using this. But this is a concealer that I keep in my bathroom. So when I'm doing quick makeup, this is my go-to concealer. Or if I'm doing like a concealer only face without foundation, this is my go-to product. So I've used this for years, love it, and I needed a new one. And then the other thing I picked up is this tiny little blush. And I usually don't like picking up tiny blushes like this, but I felt like I didn't need a full size of this. I really just wanted to try this color. So this is also from NARS and it's part of their orgasm collection it's called orgasm edge so this one I believe is yeah it's their matte version of orgasm so if you've ever tried Nar NARS orgasm blush you know it's this shimmery pink peach this one is the matte version I believe this is new so that's what it looks like swatched on my finger I feel like it's really not showing up well but again, with blushes, you really have to try them on your face, like with a brush to get the true picture. Hopefully y'all can see that. It's hard for me to tell on the camera, but that's what it looks like. It looks like a pretty pinky peach. I really like that. I actually feel like it's showing up better on my skin than the original uh, NARS Orgasm. Even though I can use that, it's not like my go-to shade because it is like on the lighter side, but I can still use it. It'll still show up on my skin tone, so excited to have this and that's it for the box let's get to the bag i gotta be quick because i actually have to get on a phone call soon so i'm gonna speed through the rest of these things <laughs> this is another touchland hand sanitizer i talked about this in probably every sephora haul that i've done but it's just a hand sanitizer that i love this is the watermelon one and i just needed another one so got that and then another thing that i picked up in store is from super goop and this is their new tinted moisturizer so it's called protectant daily spf tint it has spf 50 and y'all know i've been on the hunt to try to replace my ilia skin tint and i found one that i really like that i talked about on my favorites video but that one does give me more coverage than the Ilia. So I decided to try this one too because I really wanted something that was lighter coverage just like the Ilia. And I did try this on my, I put like a little bit on my chin in the store to shade match myself. And I felt like this is gonna be good for just very like no makeup makeup look when I want SPF. So we shall see, I'll have to try this out and get back to y'all. But I picked mine up in the shade 40W. I will say, I feel like they didn't have that many shades for any skin tone, but because of the sheer nature of this, I feel like each shade will work for a variety of skin tones. So if you're not my color, but maybe you're like a shade or two darker or a shade or two lighter, this still, this color still could possibly work for you just depending on your undertone. So again, that's the Super Goop Protectant in the shade 40W. And the last three items I picked up from Sephora are all lip products and I'm actually not going to swatch these because like I said, I need to be getting on a phone call right now. But I did swatch these two on my Instagram, so I will insert a picture for you all. And then this other one is a very popular shade um, that I, it's a re-up. I used to have this shade before. So this one is one of the matte liquid lipsticks. It's in the shade 01 Always Red. I'm pretty sure this is the most popular color from this collection, but it's just a bright, blue undertone red shade so perfect for pretty much all skin tones honestly and then the other two that i picked up are lipsticks from their matte velvet line which i love so i picked up the shade number 12 called try harder and the shade number 25 called ready to dare and you should be seeing them on a picture right now on the screen but i was just really impressed with these colors when i tried them in store and i knew that i already liked this formula it is a drier matte formula but i don't find it to be drying but it feels very velvety on the lips so i decided to pick up two more of these and then the last couple items it's really gonna be very quick 
<laughs> but don't worry follow me make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you watch my vlogs because a lot of times i'll feature makeup in my vlogs and that's how you'll kind of get updated on these products so um real quick i ordered some things from pat mcgrath and the first one is this set so this is the skin fetish sublime foundation and then this is the primer base and then this is the rose 001 essence so i've never tried the essence and i've never tried the primer I have tried the foundation. I actually have a video on it from a couple years ago. So I decided to pick it up again in a lighter shade because the shade that I had back then I could only wear during the summer. And lately I've just been wanting to try this again. It's a beautiful finished foundation that's kind of a natural satin type finish. And yeah, I've been just playing around with different foundations lately. So I decided to go back and try this one again. So if you wanna know more, I'll link that video review for you all and then the last item i picked up is one of the matte trap matte trance lipsticks and this one was a limited edition so i'm not sure if this is available on sephora but if not it's available on the pat mcgrath website but it is their mark jacobs one so i think she did this as a tribute to mark jacobs i don't know if it's necessarily a collaboration maybe it is but look at this packaging it is gorgeous love it and again this is a red so here is what it looks like. And these lipsticks are quite matte and powdery feeling on the lips. Some people find them to be too thick. I don't. Um, but this is another blue, blue based red. A little bit darker, I think, than the shade Elson, which is their probably their most popular red, which I own. But this one seems to be a little bit deeper, but in that same kind of undertone family. So really pretty. Can't wait to wear that. I think that's going to go really well on my skin. So that is it. <laughs> That is all the stuff I got. Let me know if you've tried any of the products that I've mentioned. Let me know what you want to know more about so that I can feature them in a vlog or on Instagram or TikTok or something like that. Let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I have tons of content you can check out. Also, check out my website, www.simplyaisha.com. If you are a makeup and beauty lover, that is the place for you. That's what I talk about over there in addition to luxury lifestyle and a little bit of fragrance. If you want to connect with me more, follow me on Instagram. I'm in my stories pretty much every day and I love to chat with you all in the DMs. And also I'm on TikTok now where I keep my content very casual and just keep it fun. So definitely follow me on TikTok as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.